I'm Craig Gillies and I'm an ambassador for Autoimmune Alopecia Research UK. AAR UK is working with Glasgow University to establish the first alopecia registry and biobank for research in the UK. I developed this autoimmune disease over 15 years ago. Although this condition is not physically debilitating, mentally and psychologically it's been one of the toughest challenges I've had to face. I felt confused and lonely. The doctors didn't give me any information on why it was happening or what was going to happen. When I lost my eyebrows and my eyelashes after losing my hair, that, that was the worst part for me. I felt, I felt as if I looked really ill. I felt as if people were staring at me all the time and it was horrible because you can't hide that. Alopecia affects as many guys as it does girls. Alopecia makes me feel a bit different because people are fussy about their hair and I think they might not like me. Some people can go out and bully you when you've been going through such a hard time. People stare at me and I get worried and stressed about my alopecia. Currently there is no cure for alopecia. Alopecia is a chronic inflammatory disease where the immune system attacks healthy hair follicles, often causing permanent hair loss. It's thought to affect over 1 million people in the UK. Alopecia is one of over 80 autoimmune diseases. It is genetically linked to multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes and celiac disease. Research into alopecia is minimal, with the disease often being dismissed as a cosmetic issue. My name is Ian McInnes. I'm the Muirhead Professor of Medicine here in the University of Glasgow. I'm also the Director of the Institute of Infection, Immunity and Inflammation. For many years I've been interested in why people develop diseases caused by the immune system. Now the first thing you need to know is that the immune system's primary job is to defend us against infections and it does that really effectively. The problem is that sometimes it becomes too effective and it's switched on and causes damage to tissues when it shouldn't be and that's the condition that we call autoimmune disease. Now these are really exciting times to be a medical investigator. In the last decade we've been given new tools to work with, genetic tools, molecular biology, cellular biology that we just couldn't have dreamt of even a decade ago. Now imagine if we could bring the power of modern medicine to focus on alopecia. What would we need? Well the starting point in any discovery project is having a library of tissues in which we can go and ask questions. We call that a biobank. And that's what we want to do now with alopecia. We want to create a world-leading biobank starting here in Scotland that is going to give us the tissues upon which to build new knowledge. We're going to use that new knowledge to create new therapies and change a disease that until now has had no treatment at all. Please help us raise the money to find out more about alopecia.